By now, you're probably aware that Glasscast is the epoxy that professionals choose for a wide range of creative projects, but what can be less obvious is which Glasscast is best for a particular project. In this short video, I'll explain our three resins and how to choose the right one for what you're doing. Glasscast 3 is for coating, and Glasscast 10 and 50 are for casting. The numbers refer to the thickness in millimetres that each resin is typically used at. If you're wondering why we don't just use the same resin for all projects, there are two important reasons. Firstly is cure speed. A slow cure is needed for thicker pores to avoid overheating, but this would take too long to cure for thinner pores. The second reason is a bit technical, and is to do with how the resin cures on its open face. For coating applications like penny floors, artwork, or countertops, the resin needs to cure with a super smooth finish without the need to flat or polish it. To achieve this, we use special additives in the Glasscast 3 coating resin. However, these additives aren't perfectly clear, and whilst you wouldn't be able to see them in thin sections, we avoid adding them into the Glasscast 10 and 50 so that these remain water clear in any thickness. So, for any project where you'll be pouring a few millimetres of resin over something which you'll allow to cure and leave, you need our coating resin Glasscast 3. This includes projects like penny floors, decorative floors, resin art, countertops and bar tops. It also includes some resin table projects where the resin forms a thinner, clear layer over the top of planks. For smaller projects up to about 10mm per pour, you need our Glasscast 10 casting resin. Typical examples include Petri style art, 3D resin art like this built up in layers, filling smaller knots and cracks in wood projects, and jewellery pieces like these. But remember, to get a perfect finish like this on the open face with Glasscast 10 or Glasscast 50, you'll need to flatten polish it. Finally, for chunkier castings, we have our Glasscast 50. If you're making things like this skull in a silicon mould or this wood turning blank, then Glasscast 50 can be poured at up to 50mm thickness in a single pour. However, if you're using large amounts of resin into a highly insulating environment, such as a wooden river table, you should limit to a maximum thickness of 25mm per layer to avoid the risk of overheating. Of course, you can build up multiple layers to achieve any thickness. Typical projects for Glasscast 50 include, of course, river tables, but also alternative projects such as this hexagon table, paperweights or pen blanks, but really it can be used for anything where you need a bubble-free, perfectly clear finish for those larger projects. Glasscast 3 is fully compatible with Glasscast 10 and 50, and so can be used over the top of these resins to provide a perfectly smooth, glossy finish without the need to flat and polish the surface of the thicker pore. And of course, it's fully compatible with our range of pigments. We have solid colour pigments, metallic pigments and translucent pigments to create a wide range of creative effects. Our resin calculator can assist you with working out how much resin you'll need for a range of projects. But remember, if you've got any doubts or you need any assistance at all, don't hesitate to get in touch. We're available via telephone, email, through our website, Facebook or Instagram.